Welcome back everyone. Petrius Raven here. We were playing Hogwarts Legacy and we just left off right as the game was finally introduced. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. We're about to get sorted into Ravenclaw. Spoiler. Oh good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. But I liked my now, gear. I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Why does he sound like a bad person? Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. You're a dick. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. This is exciting. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Uh -huh. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mm -hmm. mm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. Known for knowledge, or for known for intelligence, creativity, and wit. Obviously, all makes sense. You belong in Ravenclaw. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm- Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. 
I don't like him. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As deputy headmistress, it my is my voice is a little weird, but don't mind that. Your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Who lived longer? The ghost? Or the poltergeist? Ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non being can never have been. Well done. Yeah, now, don't feel like that was a riddle. Get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. I also Thank don't like that I didn't get the chance. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. But... Sleep well. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yawn, yawn, yawn. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Do I not even get to meet my roommates? Found my common room. Whoa. Oh, that must be to the women's room. <laughs> this should be interesting. One moment. Watch this. Uh, what is this? It's someone threw a dung box. <laughs> Let's get out of here. That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. Right. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. I'm glad to be here. Ready for classes to start. Oh, there's a ghost. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are fun but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. Nice meeting you. You too, Everett. Okay. What is this? <laughs> I want him to be in the perfect place, a place he'll be happy with, but I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones! I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones? <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Why are you I'm not Samantha. in Hufflepuff? Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wiganwell potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wiganwell potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma fig. Teaches about theory, yet seems to know a lot about practical magic. Professor Fig does know a great deal about, um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wiganweld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Uh -huh. Hey. An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps. But it runs in my family. 
We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say her apologies in my roots. Is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients, as long as your brews are all perfect. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your ditany. Thank you. And good luck to you, too, on your first day. Sin for being an asshole. That's just brilliant, Amit. Brilliant. You'd think you could... Ah! That is not how... Why, hello. <laughs> Would you like to take a look? His face changed so fast. Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. How does Can't everyone know about it, this? Frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I hope astronomy is on my schedule. Sounds interesting. Schedule. I have good news oh. for you. You are most so definitely British. taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you. I've never yeah. smelled yeah. fresh parchment, so. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. Why Can't is there only the guards anything? on the female side? I trust you're ready Are you for your first day at in Hogwarts? the common room. I've been dreaming of this day for a long you're time. You're not allowed to be in the common room. I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Uh -huh. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. Okay, I get a spell book. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Uh -huh. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay. And I cannot run. This game feels very hand-holdy. That's a little I upsetting. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Uh huh. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust? And see what details Revelio can provide. Ooh, interesting. Nice. Are the only way to acquire experience. Uh huh. Feel like I tracks your challenge. Ah, I see. 
Okay. Interesting. Okay. I'm digging this. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. Inside and outside of the castle. Excuse me, you're blocking me. I'd like to move past because you're slow. Oh, you are actually physically body blocking. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Actually, there is time to waste. Rebellion. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. I was really hoping for... Wait. I see something back in there too. I want to figure this out actually. Oh! Really? Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Oh, okay. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Oh my gosh, you're so handholdy. Oh, wait. Excuse me. Select library annex. Okay, there's Central Hall. How annoying. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in Revelio. the castle quickly from Central Hall. I see more something. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. The headmaster hates everyone who isn't a pure blood slip. That's no, good now. boy. You'll be expected to attend both charms and defense against the dark arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Uh -huh. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. Yeah, I wonder My what. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I don't want to lie, but... I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field no. guide's map? Of course. Thank you. 
Good luck today. Thanks. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. Yeah, no, and I assume that. Invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Very yes, cool. Professor. Come yes. and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. Cool. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Amazing. Revelio. What? I can't do anything with it? Oops, I don't know why I pressed. Put that in it. Can I like Here on. Lumos. Revelio. Hmm. Well, whatever. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you? masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival. I did try to evade her questions, though I feel a little deceptive. That said, I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Well, yeah, she yes, said that. Well, <laughs> Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Mm -hmm. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Yeah, no, I gathered that. Believe it or not, I can press buttons myself. Oh, that's annoying. Let's go with that one first. Oh, there we go. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with mm. classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on Did your classes something? and pay attention. What more than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. What luck? Revelio. This cannot possibly be. Okay, I still can't do anything. More of these, huh? I've always said e. that travel broadens the mind. Who said that? Oh. There we go. I saw that. Revelio. Nice. Another flu. Anything else? Good. Thought as much. Oh, oh. my exams. Revelio. Painting depicts the young orphan wizard Ilias. Famously saved the entire village from an 
army of dementors and the dark wizard. I right, am gonna try it by conjuring a mouse patronus. I believe that's also my patronus. Hey, you already reached level two. I heard another ding. I'm just assuming it's there. Revelio. Yeah, nothing over. Keep hearing a dinging. Oh, whatever. Ah. What are you up to now? Okay, so it's just... How do I... Yeah, here. Here. No, back. Nice. We haven't gotten the room of requirement yet. Wait, didn't I also get those other gloves though? Oh, I kind of like that. mounts, but I just can't use them yet. Oh, I didn't notice the eyes before. <laughs> Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today, we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Is a person small? Levioso! Isn't that supposed to be swish and flick? Let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. Mm -hmm. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. As Master Pruitt, so hard. Good. Well done. Levioso. Very good. 
good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel, using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. I've already forgotten how to protect. You're good. How perceptive. Why? How's the view? This is incredibly frustrating. How do I... Well, the good this, aren't you? How do I protect? <laughs> what is my... Weird how bad for a easy it was once I remembered. You give Key. as good as you get. <laughs> Why do I look so proud of myself? I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. Thank you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So. I'd advise you to keep practicing oh, whenever you can. Go in not too long. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Wonderful. All right. I saw that. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Revelio. Nice. Nice work. Why am I talking to you? I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. That was a bit cocky. Fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck, or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Thanks. Till next time. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented you. Looks like I'm going the wrong way.
I have to rush. This game is so beautiful though. I'm loving this so far. It bothers me that it's so handholdy, but that's okay. Really? We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well... It seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Interesting. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem Cast to have the once. basic down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? <laughs> Very simply, cast a deal on one of the spheres. That's it! Don't lose your composure! How do I... Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. Splendid! Oh, I get it. Excellent control there. Very good. Points to Ravenclaw. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. 
Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Do I really have to wait? This That might have been a bit much. Okay, cool. Very good. Let us see this. That is how it's done. Uh oh. Nice. Nicely done. What's this? Wait, did she block my ball? There we go. Akio. Nice. Perfect game. A perfect score. Remarkable. make this a bit more interesting, shall we? I don't know if I can. I'm running out of time. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Here we go. Why does she always have to do that? That sucks. I pressed the wrong button. Let us see this. That is how it's done. I don't think I can beat her regardless. That's it. Watch this. I guess I can still win. There we go. How do I? Does that negate her score? Not exactly your typical lucky. Not that I mind. Oh, don't go over. Eat a dick. There's no fucking way. good both of you all right well done. that's the end of this episode thank you all so much for being for joining me for this as always love you proud of you and i'll see you in the next one